Hey, I'm Gaj Kolnik and in today's video is about playing long pad notes on top of chord progressions. Now, what pad notes can do is add a sense of continuity and depth to the music. So let's start. When it comes to what notes to play as pads, there are of course many possibilities. But I thought that instead of giving you a set of rules, we could go through the process of what I did at the beginning of this video and take it from there. So let's do it step by step. So step one, we start from the F minor scale. F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat and F. Step two, we're gonna play an F minor chord with the notes one, three and five. Step three, I'm gonna add some movement to the F minor harmony. I'm gonna move the C all the way up to F and then go back down chromatically. Step four, with my right hand, I'm gonna add a long pad note C. So while my left hand is moving from C to F and then descending back to C again, my right hand is fixed on the C right from the start. Up an octave. What I also like doing sometimes is just part of the descending movement over and over again without ever reaching the target note C. Let's start this time from the 7th E flat to natural 6 to flat 6 and then again to 7, 6 and flat 6 without ever reaching the 5. With my right hand though I'm playing that exact evasive C note the notes that we will never be able to reach. What we're seeing here is the difference between harmony and chords. Now harmony is like looking at the music from a higher perspective, like looking at planet Earth from a space station. You can say, oh, that's the area of F minor down there. Now chords are more of details that you can see from the ground level. The chords in this example were created because of a melodic movement of the C which is a basic tone of the F minor harmony. Out of its movement to F and then the chromatic movement, we ended up with chords like F minor major, F minor seven, F minor six, etc. The pad note though is playing the basic C note without moving away from it. But this is why it works because Although the piano part is moving and the pad part is not, they both belong to the same basic F minor harmony. And let me give you another example of the same concept. In jazz, when a bass player is playing a walking bass part, adding different tones, and the pianist is playing his own voicing and adding his own tensions, it makes sense because on the harmonic level, they're on the same page. We could play the same thing in major, all we have to do is follow the steps again. Step one, we start with the F major scale. Step two, we built an F major chord. One, three, and five in the scale of F major. And step three, we add some movement to the F major harmony by going from C to F and then down chromatically back to C. 
and step four we add the same pad note C on top. Let's hear that. Let's try an A. Pretty. Let's try just seven to six with C. So if you like this video and want to watch more videos like this one, you can like the video, you can subscribe to the channel, you can add questions and comments, and I'll be seeing you in the next videos.